Right, we're back onto this, and uh, this is requested by Grant Crampin and Crispy2009. Both of you, I think, comment on my channel fairly often, so yeah, appreciate it for the comments, appreciate it for the views and the likes. So, we're going to do Bully and Bars Gambler. Now, this being only a pound ago, we're just going to be 500 versus this game. The Gambler will be on. I haven't played this for time. I remember playing this in Hunstan and Pier back when it was good in the beer. <laughs> Straight in. Who remembers the one you lap on your PC where you could, uh, what was it you did? You could basically press something and it made it bring in the bullion bar streak in the next press. Can't remember right now. Got a gun. Drink of choice tonight again, back, is the Rhubarb and Custard Brothers Cider. So, now. So when it's finished, I've got to go and watch Dark Fate. Terminate Dark Fate with the wife, so... Oh, it paused. I thought we were going to get it then. Pass. Is that what, this is the wind plan there, look. suggesting for the uh, next video the 500s I mean uh, them ones are over there we'll get done at some point but we have got another game to include now which is pieces of eight we have got pieces of eight to include there's nothing on that terminal that isn't on here apart from there's only one game on that terminal that's not on here so oh but up there with max line bet. I can't bet any different. It's just a pound a go. streaker this can be a bit shit I had a couple of times when I was younger I to, I, this, is the, this is the era when I used to put you know three four five quid in and that was it on these I didn't really get too involved with these that's why the worst thing was actually winning 500 on these because once you win it it's very hard to leave one alone after that so I always say to people you don't really ever want to win 500 if you could just put 20 quid in and walk Really, 
all about the jackpot lines on this because everything else is just not really interesting it's either a bullion bar streak or a load of jackpot lines I don't ever remember seeing anybody get a full screen rolling on this I probably had a 75 or something like that at one point maybe I might have had the bullion bar streak go can't really remember really the biggest level of that so long ago I say it's been years since I've played this It's not looking good for arcades and stuff at the moment. I mean, I see the, the weekly waffle Mr. P does. I think he's a, uh, you know, I wouldn't say like, you know, he's not hard up or anything, but he's struggling, which I can understand. It's, it does take its toll on you. I'm glad I didn't open an arcade a few months ago or something already, because I'd be sitting there pissed. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's not very good. I mean, hopefully he'll, he'll, he should work it all out and be all right. Be a shame to lose this because a good chain of arcades he's got. Even though I've been to him, I just don't go to Bognor because it's too far. I always say like, there's enough videos on YouTube of it now that it feels like I've already been there. Like I always say, he's like the, what I always say to anybody, he's like the Walt Disney of classic arcades. And I'd always say that. I know I bitch about the hot cash. <laughs> That's all in jest to me, that's a long time ago, I'm not even that bothered about it. I've had arcades do far worse to me. What have I had an arcade do? Thomas is an understanding. Uh, played a deal or no deal, five pounder. Done a hundred pound for it, didn't get past 30p. They found out the RAM had gone or something. And rather than refund me anything, one of the, one of the staff just said, he wins enough in here, it's tough. And that's the one who then barred me not long later, a bloke called Wingy. He barred everybody. And I used to lose. This is back when I used to lose, you know. I've had arcades reset machines. I've had arcades. I, I did a thousand pound in a, in a, in a black night, 200, to come back in the morning. They took the unit out. You know, I've had them fucking far worse, didn't they? So yeah, it's a sad thing to happen. So, but it has to happen, you know. It, it does. We need to do what we gotta do. Yeah, it's no good. Ah, oh, sorry about that. It's no good uh, ignoring it all. It's not gonna go away. I mean, I'm bored. I am bored. I've been in the house now five or six weeks. But I will say, it's a good thing. What's a good thing has come out of it? It's made me more. Uh, like willing to have a go at things I was very lazy because playing fruit machines you just get a bit like lazy with money you just like ask oh, only 30 quid ask oh, only 40 quid like my bonnet catch was on my scooby it, it was all blocked up and that normally but next time I go to a garage I'll be like yeah sort it out for me I couldn't even be bothered to do it that garage probably fucking charged me 20 quid just to, just to clean it a little bit and put some you know put some oil on that on it and I, I did that today you know I've painted all my fences which I couldn't be bothered to do you just think ah oh, fuck it can't be asked you know my son learnt to ride his bike that was brilliant finally got my son to ride his bike and I was like, this is what I should have done a long time ago. My, my two-year-old daughter can nearly ride hers now, a balance bike. She can nearly glide that. Going for walks, being with the dogs, being with my wife a bit more, you know. That's why people say to me, do you miss the machines? I'm like, no, I don't. I'm glad they're closed. I'll, be, I'll actually be a little bit, I'll be happy to go out and do what I want. But the sad part will be fucking back to playing fruit machines in pubs again. And then you wonder why I want to open an arcade because I don't like what arcades are now. Like not Mr. P's and all the, the classic arcades, but I don't like what Admiral and Casino represent now. It's more like a, a European kind of arcade. To me, I don't know. I see it a bit like going into a restaurant and they have a very small menu. 
Is that probably a bit naive? I don't know. And it's like, do you do like, I don't know, do you do scampi? No, no, we don't have that. No, not enough money in it, so we don't have it. No, we only do like expensive steaks. And no, I just wanted a bit, a bit of cheap, cheap dinner, you know. Nah, it's all high risk, high food, high expensive food. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to explain my point, but it's probably not coming across right there. It's probably a bit wrong, but... I want an arcade where you can walk in, or you like a, like a restaurant. I serve a bit of everything in here, you know. Even if I want something a bit cheap. You can come in and I don't care if you're only going to spend a five or a tenner on some 5 peer go stuff. As long as you enjoy yourself. It's amusements at the end of the day. I don't want a casino, I want amusements. But the sad part of today's society is you have to have these. Because these help pay the bills. I'd, what I'd love to do, I'll tell you what, another good idea. I'd love to get like a minivan and just do a fucking tour of classic arcades. And there's one coming in Western. You know, there's, there's, you've got one up north somewhere, obviously you've got Mr. P's ones and that, just a fucking, in like, seven days, seven arcades. I, I said it first, all right? If someone now does this with a minivan, I'll be pissed. I do like my Vegas. That would be nice, but obviously I think when it's over, it'll be a bit too cold by then, but if this ends in August, September time, might be an idea. I know Scotty would do it. Probably both of Scotty's would do it. See if James, see if Hardy would be up for it. Whoever else, just fucking... Even if you get a couple of cars just in convoy, innit? Just like, yeah, they're going to fucking be addicts. Addict week. Just randomly turn up at a different arcade every day. Live stream. Because there's some fucking good arcades I bet out there if you went looking. I mean, I went to Cleethorpe because it was full of gems, but that was a couple of years ago, three years ago maybe, but I hear a lot that's gone now. It's a shame. Shame that's happened. If that's the case, it's a shame. Because they had loads of stuff there. Idea why the look at that, all that lot. This doesn't work on here. The door doesn't like that down there. It does on there, doesn't on here. Do I know what might cause that? Do you know? To save me some time. It's crap that you can't actually reserve that yourself. I don't think you can. They no, can't. You have to get a staff member to reserve a game. What they can do is lock a game off for you. So it's locked until you come back. They can reserve a game. I think it even lets you set a time limit as well. So you can reserve it for so long and it'll come off it. Or you can permanently reserve it. So no see how arcade do. I don't know why they would. I have bought the mob, so I've got the mob coming at some point of a, a lad who's in one of my videos earlier from years ago, Justin. He, he's the one who plays Tire Flowers one night and he wins jackpot on one and while he's waiting for to be paid, he wins jackpot on the other. Didn't know it was actually him selling it. Until I spoke to him and in the end he, realized, he said he knew who it was. I was like, oh fuck me, it's you, I didn't even realise. Well, is this the highest we've been? What, this is a record at the moment in the video? Wow. Dead. Shut up. Shut up. You. No. <laughs> oh, 
Papa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. How do you feel? Is that from a pound fifty? That's from a pound. Hey! Yeah, I think if you see the bar, it has to give. When you see the bar streak, it's always there. It just goes until you don't get a win. You want to see a jackpot? Usually, you get some. Jackpots a lot. Thank you. Is that it? This is probably about it, I think. And any second, this is ending. Any second. I never usually go much more in this. Granny tap, granny tap, tap up, tap up. What the hell that's about? Transfer even flashes. I don't know what them buttons do in this game. Nothing. They just flash away. Kind of mental. Well, I'll see you on the next one.